Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of the Mass Effect Trilogy where today we're off to go and do Thane's uh, loyalty mission. So yeah, we're back on the Citadel and we're going to take Garrus with us. So, I haven't spent any points on Thane yet. It's easy enough to solve. So, uh... Warp. Take Drown Marksman. Weapon damage. Yep. And we'll leave some points free for Shredder Ammo. Okay. CSEC appears to be investigating the death of Sedonis, Shepard. They currently have no leads. What a shame. Also, according to CSEC, Adrell recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Right. So let's go talk to uh, Bailey again. Yes? My associate's trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shep. Okay, so... I think... Yep, stairs up. Okay. All the way up. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. Dark Star? It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. So what? Oh, there's Mouse. We'll drive yeah, past yeah. him. I can get that. No problem. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You Mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. We need you to answer some questions. And the people I work for... Look, I can't answer questions for just anybody. But you can for me. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for... We don't have time for this. Oh, God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I cared for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Probably best to leave. I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Just go away, man. Mouse, I'm sorry too. Just go. Hmm. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead in future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? 
We must carry the weight of our... Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Right, let's go back and talk to Bailey. Yes. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Looks like they roughed him up a bit. Good, good. We've got Callum. Tell Bailey we're ready. He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. Mm -hmm. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. That's okay. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to punch your shit in. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over. Pay attention, Mr. Callum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch works for problem. me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talid. Dorian in the 800 box. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. He'll wake up with a headache. No permanent damage. We have Kolyat's target. Let's get to Talid before he does. Agreed. Alright. What's the story? Why'd Kelvin hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram Talid. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Right. Boy, 
apologise for my uh, neighbours being a bit noisy again. They uh, apparently haven't seen snow before and it's snowed quite heavily outside. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow to lead on the maintenance cat box. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Right then. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Mm -hmm. No problem so far. There we go. Appears to be a shakedown. At least that's what the voice line's supposed to be. For some reason it just isn't working. That's it, Shepard. Just readjust yourself. I'm sure that uh, Weeb Armour is incredibly uncomfortable. Mostly because it's Weeb Armour. They were running, but I oh, there they are. Where are they going? What's he doing? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a sh no sign of trouble.
Kolyat. This... this is a joke. Now... now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Tully, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Kolyat. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother... They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. You know how YouTube works.